Good afternoon and thank you for joining me. I am Dr. Faye, the superintendent from Midlothian ISD. Um, today we're doing our May update to our community and we're gonna start out by recognizing our 14 individuals uh, that have served the public education system for over a combined total of 370 years. Thank you so much for your service to our, ki our kids, our community, and enjoy retirement. And I hope that you know that you are always welcome back here at MISD. Um, lots of fun things happening uh, to round out our year in athletics, and I want to cover first and foremost uh, another huge congratulations to the Heritage Soccer Girls team who uh, had an opportunity to defend their title. And while they came up short, um, they, they, they were no less um, um, less than us being proud of them. And so we're so thankful that they defended their title um, in a way that even though they came up short was impressive. They went to overtime, uh, I believe uh, a few times, and then went to a shootout. And so we're so grateful uh, that our kids represent us well at that level. And while the scoreboard um, did not say that we won that state title, they will always be our state champion. So hats off to the Heritage Girls Soccer Team for the second year in a row. Uh, we also finished uh, second this past uh, uh, past couple days. Uh, the Heritage Golf Girls uh, completed their season, and that's exciting news. They've always been in the hunt in the last couple years, and they finally were able to to land the medals, which is great to bring home. And then a big shout out to Maddie Sanders, um, who brought home an individual silver medal for her team, and a huge shout out to her dad, Mr. Matt Sanders, who has. Um, uh, served our board of trustees for the past nine years. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. Uh, you have been an incredible leader for our system. Last week, also, we were um, represented at the state track and field championships in Austin at UT at Mike Meyer Stadium. And a big congratulations goes out to a very impressive uh, performance from Leah Anderson. Um, this is not new for her because she all she did was go back and repeat uh, a stellar performance from last year. But she did win the gold medal in three different events, the, the triple jump, the hundred, hurdles and the 300 hurdles. She also run the bronze in the long jump and so she scored 46 points as an individual which placed her heritage track team the number fourth team in the state of Texas. Congratulations Leah, you are so impressive and I'm so glad that I got to see it. And another big congratulations goes out to Miss Maddie Faye. I know her a little bit and um, she is new to the system this year as well as I am, but she did defend her state title in the girls discus at the 5A level and she won one as a dragon and now hopefully she'll win three as a panther. And so we're so proud of her and she also was able to secure a second place finish in the shot put. So we will be back, Texas, we will be back. Um, we also had scholarship awards night uh, last night at MHS and then we will be having that same award ceremony at Heritage High School next Monday night. If you are available and you can join that, it's always so nice to see our kids uh, that have achieved um, get their awards and be honored for that inside of our system. We had Heritage High School, uh, NBC5 featured Heritage with Carter in the classroom last week. Uh, they focused on something called Impact Week at Heritage High School, and that is where students that are non-testing students actually bring somewhat of passion projects, and they teach other kids about that. I am going to um, hope and I hope that we send that link out on our, our uh, social media sites if it has not already been there. But if you have not seen that, you will be so impressed. And I want to thank Krista Tipton, who is rounding out her, her career as a campus leader there, for making sure that we're not wasting time in our schools. Thank you to Heritage High School and thank you, Krista Tipton. Um, let's see here. Other, other news um, are... Our board um, did change in this past election, so I want to do a huge big welcome to Ms. Jessica Ward and Mr. Mike Dillow. Uh, they joined us um, this past uh, Monday and got a, their first insight as to what happens during a board meeting and during closed session, and we're so thankful for them. Already impressed with what they can do for us, and I'm so happy about that. We also have a new board officer group. We have Tammy Toby, who has been named the board president. Mr. Gary Vineyard is our vice president, and we have Eduardo Gonzalez as our secretary. We also want to give a big shout out to Mr. Bobby Soto, 
who served uh, in, in the board seat for the last three years. So congratulations to all the members of our board and all of our past members. We're so grateful for your service. Um, we do have a new principal at Baxter Elementary, and we are very excited to announce that Ms. Trina Silman uh, has been named the, the principal at Baxter, and we're excited that Trina was actually an internal candidate, and so it's always nice when we can grow leadership in the system to take over the role of campus leader, and, and that is a, a big, huge goal of mine, is to ensure that we have a quality leader in every one of our campuses, and long-term, we wanna make sure that we're growing those for ourselves. And so congratulations to Trina. Thank you for the, the work that you're about to do in the future. And I, I hope that the Baxter family is, is very happy. Um, we do have a few things. Uh, the proposed tax rate for the coming year uh, is budgeted for the $1.33 over $100 valuation. This will be the fourth year in a row that we've been able to lower the tax rate for our citizens. Of course, we all know that the appraisal values are all coming out and we're all getting them in our mailboxes. And it is, it is extraordinary to see the valuation of our homes going up to the degree that they are. And so um, we're, we're happy to lower the tax rate. Um, that is probably not going to impact uh, the taxes that you pay, but it is definitely um, our efforts to try to make sure that we're being fiscally responsible with our community's money. Um, we do have um, a few things that, that are still happening, uh, but there will be a baccalaureate service for both high schools this coming Sunday at Stonegate Church. And um, one final thing that I will, that I will uh, leave with is that tomorrow we will be doing a training event at our, our stadium. Uh, we did push some information out on our social media channels, and so we're hoping that um, that you're not alarmed uh, by that training. But if you if you hear about it, know that it's a training event, um, and we're excited to partner with our city to make sure that in the event that we have something significant happen, that we're well prepared to deal with it. And then finally, um, I'm going to leave you with this. I am so grateful that the Board of Trustees approved for us to move forward with Capturing Kids Hearts for our following year. Um, there is no better training that we can do for each other as a staff and for our kids. And that's to ensure that every student in our system is treated with dignity when they walk into our classrooms and that every adult in our system is, is treated the same way. So on that, I thank you so much for my first year as a superintendent, and I look forward to many, many more.